Welcome back to our guest cottage. What we're going to focus on today is setting up our paper space and model space. Paper space is what we look at on a sheet of paper, while model space is what we're currently looking at right now, just our model of our guest cottage. What we want to do before we swap over to paper space is create another new layer. Call this one viewport. V-I-E-W-P-O-R-T, viewport. I like to make viewport some random color, not one of my default ones, so it sticks out to me. I'm gonna make this one here color number 30. Click on the white dot next to viewport, click on more colors, and color number 30 is this orange one down here, third one on that bottom section, or bottom of the top section. Make your viewport the active layer by clicking on the word viewport. One thing I see a lot of my students do is they'll accidentally click on these icons and they'll either lock or turn off the visibility of a certain layer. Please get in the habit of choosing the actual words for your um, layer selection. If you do see a lock or a light bulb, something's off, just go click on it and they'll go back to normal. All right, now we wanna to go to our Views tab up top and choose Layout 1. This puts us into Paper Space, our first sheet of paper we're ever looking at. The paper size is a letter size sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11, uh, and it's turned landscape. All right, we can zoom in and out of this sheet of paper, kind of like if it were sitting on your gray desk and you can move it all around if you needed to. Um, and if you stuck your face right on it, you can zoom way in and look at portions of your piece of paper. But this is just our sheet of paper. This orange rectangle, the one that I just highlighted, is your viewport. I think of it like a viewport on a submarine. It's a little window into our, our model space, like looking into the ocean. Right? Once I'm in my viewport, I can put my face inside there and look even deeper or closer or not, but it's my window into my model world. Right now, um, it's a very thin orange. That's because it's not active. Right? If I hit MS on my keyboard for model space, I swap into model space and now it becomes this highlighted bold orange. If I now zoom in and out, I'm looking in and around my model, not my sheet of paper. All of our zoom commands, Z enter, A enter, they work. Z enter, E enter works. Um, I can zoom a window and look up inside of my, my model, but um, my paper doesn't move. Just what I see with inside of my window changes. Well, I want my viewport to um, go upon my entire screen. So I need to switch back to paper space, PS enter, and I'm going to delete this current viewport. I didn't delete my model though. I didn't delete any of my house. I just deleted my window that allows me to look into my model. If I go back up here to my views and I look at my model, everything's fine. All the work that we've done is still saved. We're okay. When I go back to the layout one tab, on the annotate tab down below, the last button is the viewport button. I'm gonna select viewport, which will create a new viewport. And the option I wanna choose is fit. I want my viewport to fit into these dashed lines, which represent the margins of my printer. I'm gonna hit fit and it fills in all the way. Again, MS goes to model space, PS goes to paper space. Another way to transition between the two is by double clicking either inside of your rectangle, it goes into model space, or double clicking outside of your rectangle, it goes into paper space. Be careful with your zooms when, or your views when you're doing so. If you zoom in in paper space and then switch to model space and zoom out to see your whole drawing, what you've really done, if I swap back to paper space, is made my drawing super tiny on my page. Again, I zoomed in in paper space, then swapped to model space, 
and I made my view look good on my screen. But what I'm really doing is just zooming out even further. One thing I like to do is in paper space, PS enter. I like to zoom all so it fills up my screen with my entire page. Then go to model space, MS enter, and zoom extents, Z enter, E enter. Also, I don't like seeing my grid in model space. I'm gonna go turn that off. G R I D, enter, and then click off. Now what I'm looking at is, again, just a window into my model. If I come to my model and I draw anything, say I drew myself a nice fancy star inside of my uh, living sleeping room, if I go back to layout one, I can see that star. If I delete the star inside of model space on my piece of paper, well, it also deletes it inside of my model. I can modify my model on my layout tab as long as I'm in model space. I can modify it up here in the model view and it you know, relates back and forth. All right, we drew our building at a quarter inch to one foot scale. We talked about that in the last video when we did our closets, um, having our spacing of these lines be a quarter of an inch to one foot, or 1 48th the size that they should be. One thing we're gonna have to do is set our zoom to where I'm looking at my drawing being 1 48th, or a quarter inch to one foot, for my piece of paper. If I Z enter, E enter, what that does is it centers my drawing on my page, or on my viewport, as well as maximizes it. So I'm looking at my entire drawing centered on my screen. If you hit Z enter, you can read right above the command line, right above this zoom. It says for me to specify corner of a window or insert a scale factor, those parentheses. NX or NXP. NXP stands for some number, N, times my paper, skate, paper space scale factor. So I wanna be 1 48th of my paper space. So I'm gonna type in one divided by 48 XP. The P doesn't have to be capitalized, but when I hit enter, it's gonna zoom down to where I am 1 48th the size I wanna be. The reason I choose 1 48th is because a quarter of an inch compared to one foot is 1 48th of that size. A quarter inch, into one foot or into 12 inches. A quarter of an inch goes into an inch four times. There are 12 inches, so four times 12 is 48. So I am 1 48th the size I want to be. One last thing that I do is I pan my drawing. P, enter. I pan it down to where my dimensions are just above this bottom view. That way when I hole punch my paper after I print it out, I'm not going to be covering up over any of my work. Go ahead and hit escape to stop the pan command. PS to go to paper space. Now if you change your view and your zoom and all of that, your drawing scale won't change compared to the piece of paper because you're in paper space. In the next video, we'll put in our uh, window schedule and title block and get ready to plot.